Hey family, it's the Mobile Home Diva. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the town home. Now this is a three bedroom home. It's out here at Yes Mobile Homes in Byron, Georgia. Can't wait to show it to you. Let's go outside. All right, wanted to give you a view of the home. This is the front of the town house. It's a three bedroom, two bath as I stated. It's the cutest little house, you guys. It is a small, one of the smaller double wides, but it is such a cute house. Like this would be perfect. If I was by myself, y'all know I'm not. Y'all know I love my husband and I don't want to live without him. But if it was just me, outside of a single wide, this home would be perfect. Look how cute. This is the cutest little house. I love it. I love it. This is the cutest little house. I also wanted to show you, a lot of times I don't mention it, you kind of walk past it, but this is what these homes are wrapped in. This particular product is called uh, Rex Wrap. It's a weather resistant barrier. It's, it meets all building code requirements. So when these homes are wrapped like this, they're keeping out all the elements when they're traveling down the road to get to their destination, they're keeping out, it's keeping out all of the elements. And your um, vinyl actually goes over that. So you've always got that layer of protection. Just FYI. All right, let's go into the house and see what she looks like. This is your view. When you walk into the house, I'll go and turn around so you can see this big living room. What a lovely living room. What a big space. So all of that is your living room area. Lots of space to decorate. You don't have to worry about the size of your furniture with this living room, like it's a huge space. You could even create an entry and still have a large area as your living room. Love it. So that's the front door there. And then your master door is there. Of course, we'll see that last. But this is a view into the kitchen. Large kitchen, which I love. Uh, uh, it's surprising because of the si size of the home, but really lovely. You've got uh, a huge island slash peninsula here. Space for seating in the front. And if you choose for extra seating on the side, they've got the light colored countertops against uh, this. Uh, I guess maybe this is a pine like. Uh, color wood. Love all the cabinets and drawer space. Love it. And then you've got shelving underneath, which is always a plus. A lot of times that's an open space, but as you can see, you've got shelving underneath and you've got a drawer for every, every cabinet. Really nice. Lots of storage space in here and over here. Now, this these two are for decoration because the sink is here. But you've got more cabinet space here. And then next to it, you've got cabinet space with shelving. And these are actually drawers on both sides over here. Above your stove, you've got cabinets there. They don't go all the way to the ceiling, but I love it. Because in addition to your shelf there, you have other room, other space for decor. So let me walk out and show you the kitchen from this view. Really nice, really nice size. Kind of a galley, makes it kind of a galley type kitchen. But if you are if you're entertaining, from here you can talk to your friends and family in the living room, as well as the dining room. Now we haven't talked about the dining room yet, 
But let's finish over here. First things first, you have this beautiful pantry. Always love the glass pantry door. It says pantry. And then this is what your pantry space looks like. So one, two, three, four shelves. And you've got that space down there. Really nice. Really lovely. Your laundry room and back door right here. Really nice. Awesome. Now next to the kitchen, you have your dining room area. You've got this, this uh, nice window bringing in lots of light. You've got space right here for your dining room table. It's just a comfy, cozy area, you guys. Love it. That's your dining room and your kitchen. Give you another look from over here. You got your living room. You're in the kitchen. You can see the living room and the dining room. Really nice. Now, off the dining room, you have your secondary bedrooms right here in the dining room. This door is bedroom number one. Bedroom or an office. I like this space for an office. You've got your closet there. Really nice. Room for a bedroom. Office, nursery, whatever you need it to be. And then in this little hallway area, You've got bedroom number two, right here. And your closet over there. That's your closet. All right, next to this bedroom, you have your secondary bath, got a single vanity here, transom window in this one over your tub and shower. So it's well lit, love, love, love it. And next to your bathroom, you've got a linen closet. So everybody's towels and sheets and additional items that need to be stored can go in here right next to the bathroom. Super nice. So these are your secondary bedrooms. Y'all want to go see the master? Let's go see the master. I'm disappointed in myself. I drank a whole large. Nothing left. It was a butter pecan swirl iced coffee with caramel foam. So didn't need that. <laughs> All right, this is your master, little cozy master. Got two large windows bringing in all the light. It is super bright in this room, which I love because in the daytime, you can just have as much light as you need. Your master bath is over here already. I see the double vanity as you enter the room. More shelves shelving and cabinet space love the deep shelf right here and then you've got a cabinet on either side really nice that they have this additional storage because you know you have to your pipes are under the sink so that could take away from your storage space but they they thought about us women that needed more space, so really nice. All right, your tub, your toilet is here with a window that opens, frosted window, really nice touch. And then you have your large shower with what I call a footstool because these aren't realistic seats to me. Um, you know, I've been in some houses that say, well, let me try. 
Oh, no, I did sit down, you guys. Okay. But you can put your foot up here and wash all between your toes. Really nice. Really, really nice. Now, this model doesn't have a glass door. You have a shower curtain, which I appreciate because... You know, when I was first looking at the homes, I was like, I don't want a shower curtain. I got a shower curtain now. I want a fancy glass. But honey, you got to squeegee that glass at least once or twice a week. It's a lot of work. So shower curtains, you can change out when you get tired of that one. You can go buy a new one. So really nice. All right. This is also a nice extra because most homes don't come with towel, rat, towel rods. So really nice. And then you've got your master closet here, not a large closet. But again, if it was me, this would be perfect because I got the two other rooms like this. And of course you can put extra um, rods down here for more clothes. So you could have, I would have one section for the long items and I would bring another shelf here and have the tops hanging up there and the bottoms hanging down there. Lots of space. Really nice. All right. So this, again, is the townhouse. It is a three-bedroom, two-bath. This townhome, oh, excuse me, the townhome is the name of this house. 92.9, you guys, for the three-bedroom, two-bath, set up and delivery, 92.9. But stay tuned because I'm going to be touring the four-bedroom version of this home. All right, see you in the next video.